Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So in this video, I want to cover how to make a group, a group for like master content where you need to coordinate yourselves in order to be able to beat it. And the content we mainly speak of is master content. So like Temple of the Spider and like your trials from your Zarya's challenge, Tower of the Mad Mage, Demogorgon, Crown of Keldegon and Rise of Tiamat. Right now, the only real good ones to do is Demogorgon and Rise of Tiamat. But these trials, they require a ton of coordination. You have to have a group that knows what they're doing, and you have to have things like artifacts sorted. Everybody needs to be using debuff artifacts, and there has to be an artifact call in order to make the run far smoother and even in most cases, actually possible to beat it. Without it, not really. So I've covered in previous videos, like all of the different debuff artifacts you wanna have in your team that are going to increase your party's damage. It'll just be for 10 seconds, and this is what an artifact call is. Everybody uses their artifacts, including these mount combat powers, you wanna have your supports using these to make it so that for that 10 seconds you deal a ton more damage and that's when you use your daily power and that's when you use your mount combat power and that way you deal a ton of burst damage with those attacks of course you will combine that with your encounter powers to be able to also deal a ton of damage and without that burst damage you seriously don't have a lot of hope at beating these master contents. And so you can see, you wanna sort out your entire group. Let's say we wanna make a group, which I'm gonna do in like 20 minutes, for master Tiamat. We need 10 people. We need two tags, two healers, and six DPS, right? So you need to sort artifacts. Ideally, we wanna have these top 11, right? So there'll be one of them we don't need to worry about, right? So we have a little bit of room there. And if you're struggling for everybody to have a different artifact, you can drop down to like these 15 here and use those. I don't recommend the ones in red. They will move you and token can miss and not be reliable. But ultimately you wanna have like these top 10 in your group for that artifact call. And then your tanks and healers want to have these mount combat powers, these top four. You want to have your Eclipse Line, your Swarm, King of Spines, or one of those T-Rexes, and the Pegasus. And that way you gain all these buffs as well during the artifact call. And you deal an absolute ton of burst damage. And you will also want to sort out what companions you have in your group. Again, you have four supports. You have two tanks, two healers, and that way... All of those four can use different team support companions. Now, the thing about uh, Master Tiamat is that it's uh, actually different to the other trials because you're going to have to split up into two groups. One group will go to the left, one to the right. So in that particular trial, we need to have a Scorpion, a Black Death Scorpion in each party. And we ideally want to have like a tutor in each party. So that's generally what you would go with. If you're running something like Tower of the Mad Mage or Zarya, then when you're all grouped up together and you have, let's say, four supports, you might in Tower of the Mad Mage only have one tank and two healers. Then you would run somebody with a Spine Devil, somebody with Dredst and somebody with Tutor. And that would generally be your best bet. And if you have, let's say, a second tank, so you have four supports, then somebody could run Stalwart Lion as well. And then, of course, you also want to have the Companion Enhancements. So you want to have these four. Again, if you have four supports, then each support will use a different one of these. If you only have three supports, then just use Armor Break, Dulled, and Vulnerability. And those are the four different things you need to sort in your group. The Artifacts, the Companions, the Enhancements, and the Mount Combat Powers. So yes, it's a lot of coordinating and you really need these for artifact calls. Without them, you seriously miss a ton of damage and I don't think there's any any hope you're actually going to get past the damage checks in those trials and in also certain dungeons because these this content is privately tested with that in mind. They're designed to be the most challenging so we have to find ways to maximize our damage output and then the devs will like tune it to that that we have to be using that in order to beat it some people might think that's unfair and not so cool but yes these content is designed to be the most challenging so if you aren't doing the optimal things then uh, you're going to struggle a bit more
So I'm here to help you with that. And the way I set up a group usually, at least for my guild, is like with this raid bot. We'll have a certain channel here on Discord. And you can see we have this ugly bot and you can basically set it up so that you can see what we're running. Tiamat Master, it's a farm. It'll be in 19 minutes. We'll gather in this voice channel. You can see the time and the date there. And then you have the six slots for DPS, two slots for tanks and two slots for healers. I need to find two more DPS still. Alternatively, I can drag uh, these guys up from who are in the waiting list and they're generally there as like newer players who aren't that experienced and if we're trying to beat this we might need all the experienced players we can get to beat it and then i'll put a message in here and ping everybody and people will be able to sign up selecting their class so let's say i'm a paladin tank and then i can select the artifacts i'm using let's say i have on my paladin tank the mythalar i have wyvern i have heart and then I also have like frozen and I can click that to the right there and then it will sign me up. It'll throw me on the waiting list now and it will list my different artifacts here. And then let's say I actually want to change to DPS. I can go switch to that and it will put me over here and it, it remembers what artifacts I had selected. And then you can see everybody else has their own artifacts set as well. And you can see then up here, it sorts those artifacts. So that's at least some way of a help towards like sorting who's using what, because they have to again be using different ones of those. And you can then also see the combat powers. And then I get my little document right here where I need to sort the groups. So we have those groups for the left and the right. I have this formatting here. So when I post it in Discord, it posts it in bold and it posts it underlined. You can see what that looks like there upon the edit after, yeah, formatting everything and sorting it out with the new players. That's when we actually ran. And then we have like particularly Master Tiamat, you need to also sort what gems people are using. So for this example, you can see what gems those people are using by it in brackets next to their name. So then this would be the first group. This would be the second group. Each of them has a tank and healer and three DPS. And then each of those five gems sorted with them as well. And then we need to sort the artifacts. We list their names and then the artifact next to them and have like a comma breaking it up. And and I can post this in either the Discord, I can post that below here, which I might, I'll might i do anyway. And then I can also copy and paste that and put it into the Q group chat when I do go and make that Q group. And we gather everybody together. And then you have the mounts sorted and you have the companion enhancements, the companions and the auras. Yes, you also want like runic aura and mystic aura. Those are the team support mount equip powers you can use. Now, this right here was me sorting it for Demogorgon. So right here, we're going to have a second tank like Aesil. And we'll also want to have what we miss here. We miss Swarm. And then we will also want here, we have these four, since we are two groups and since uh, the tanks would generally have mini bosses, we can put like healers on armor break and then tanks are on whatever. Um, and then for, with regards to companions, it's like uh, tanks on tutor and then it's healers on the scorpion, scorpion. And then for the auras, we can put like healers on runic and then tanks on a mystic. And that way, again, both parties will have both of those buffs. But again, if uh, if you're all grouped together, you will only need like one person with shooter. And then, like I mentioned earlier already, you'd have somebody else with Dritz, somebody else with Spy Devil and somebody else with like Stalwart Lion. And then with regards to the enhancements because this is Tiamat specifically only really the healers are going to attack like the claws in the DPS check and then Tiamat's chest in the last DPS check it's only really viable for them to have armor break and tanks kind of just use whatever they can go and use like vulnerability or dulled senses just for like the beginning phase and when attacking the ads so that's not that big a deal. And ultimately, that is how I sort out a group. And we're then going to have to invite everybody, inform them what they are using, 
And uh, yeah, it's a lot of organization and it really needs to be done in order for you to beat this master content. And as a raid leader, it's a lot of work. Yes, sorting out, getting all the people. Right now, I still miss two people. I need to PM people and find out if I can get two more people and then go and sort their artifacts and mounts. I need to actually sort out this document here. This is outdated. This is from the last time I ran TM out a few days ago. So we're going to have to update that with people's names and so on. But hopefully this is somewhat insightful as regards to the preparation required to beat this kind of master content. If you're just running like the advanced dungeon Temple of the Spider, you still want to go and sort those artifacts in your group of five, right? So you'd have somebody Mithalar, somebody Halaster, somebody Knives or Blades, somebody Demogorgon and somebody Tentacle Rot or all the way down to these 11 just make sure each and every person has a different one and then somebody will call artifacts and then you'd also want to sort the amount powers between the support so you'd have like the healer using eclipse lion and the tank using swarm and then the enhancements you'd have the healer like using dulled senses and the tank using armor break and then with regards to companions depending on the fight like in the first boss just have the tutor but the black death scorpion can help too the second boss in Temple of the Spider doesn't really matter again, just have somebody have Tudor and then ideally Dridst. And in the last boss, I would recommend somebody have the Black Death Scorpion. And again, you'll probably want the Tutor. At this point in endgame content, it's kind of given that the healer or tank will have like Tutor just so that DPS can get their combat advantage boosted by 5%. And also that everybody would be running like your tamed Velociraptor for the power boost. And that way you all share that. And then you ultimately gain nearly a 19% boost in your power, which is a massive stat gain by everybody using it. And then on top of that, like a tank using Runic Aura or a healer, and then the other one using the Mystic Aura. And that way you gain the boost in power and accuracy. And so, yeah, in terms of my runs then that went on a bit later, they went pretty successfully with the group coordinated well, with people knowing what to do with the terms of mechanics. We managed to farm this trial for over two hours getting multiple completions. And it's one of the things I have the most fun in Neverwinter doing, getting people together and actually running this content. Yes, okay, organizing can sometimes be a bit frustrating and it can be very annoying when people say they can show up and they don't show up and yeah. Otherwise, this party content, in my opinion, is the most fun and it's mainly what I play in Neverwinter 4. This challenge of getting a group together and running this content that's going to test you. It's going to require you to have to think, to adapt to situations, and it gives a reason why you max out your character. So yeah, that is definitely part of the challenge in order to complete this master content. Getting your group together and organizing them properly to be able to have any hope of beating it, to have any hope of getting that reward. So a massive thank you again to all of these channel members for their continued support. You can support me for as little as one euro a month by clicking the join button below. And if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.